Are you interested in airbrushing? If you're looking to get started, there's a few things you should know. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know to get started with airbrushing, including the tools you'll need, the types of airbrushes available, the types of paints, and tips for practicing and improving your airbrushing skills. Let's get started with the tools you'll need. An airbrush kit typically includes an airbrush, a compressor, a hose, and some accessories like mixing cups and a cleaning kit. When it comes to airbrushes, there are two main types, single action and dual action. Some people think that a single action airbrush is the easiest to use and most often preferred by beginners. But in my opinion, a dual action airbrush offers more control and is better for detailed work. If you're new to airbrushing, I suggest using a dual action airbrush to start with. Some of the popular airbrush brands include Iwata, Badger, and Pache. Each brand offers a variety of models with different features and price points. For beginners, we recommend starting with a basic kit that includes a dual action airbrush and a compressor. As you gain more experience, you can upgrade to a more advanced airbrush with additional features like finer tips and ones that are better quality. Next, let's talk about the type of paint you'll need. Water-based acrylic paints are a popular choice for airbrushers as they dry quickly and can be easily thin with water or a water-based reducer. Some popular brands include Praetex, Auto Air Colors, and Wicked Colors. You can also use solvent-based paints like urethanes and enamels. One of my favorite brands is House of Colors, but these require more ventilation and can be more difficult to work with if you don't know how to reduce them properly. Airbrushing can be used to create a wide variety of effects and styles, from fine art to automotive customization, to even t-shirt designs. There's no limit to what you can create with an airbrush. When it comes to choosing a project, we recommend starting with something simple, like a practice sheet of paper or even a sign blank. This will give you a chance to get familiar with the airbrush and paint and will help you build your skills before tackling more complex projects. But as with any art form, practicing is key. Don't expect to create a masterpiece on your first try. Take the time to experiment with different techniques and materials and don't be afraid to make mistakes. One helpful tip is to practice on a piece of cardboard or paper before moving on to your final project. This will give you a chance to test out your airbrush settings and paint consistency and will help you avoid mistakes on your final piece. Airbrushing is used in a variety of industries, including automotive, textile design, and makeup artistry. So if you're interested in pursuing a career in one of those fields, mastering airbrushing can be a valuable skill to have. Even if you're just interested in airbrushing as a hobby, it is fun and a rewarding skill to have. Now when it comes to airbrushing, you might also consider getting some additional supplies to make your process easier and more efficient. Some of the things you might consider include airbrush cleaners, airbrush holders, paint masks, masking tape, and stencils. These tools can help you maintain your airbrush and keep your workspace clean and organized, and also will help you with your airbrushing process. When it comes to airbrushing, the possibilities are endless. From small scale projects like models, t-shirts, helmets, goalie masks, to large-scale projects like motorcycles, automotive customization, and wall murals. There's no limit to what you can create with an airbrush. So if you're interested in exploring this exciting art form, we encourage you to start practicing and experimenting today. I thank you for watching and hope you found this video helpful and informative and helps you on your way on your airbrushing journey. This is only a beginning guide to starting airbrushing. For more information on some of the supplies that I use, check out the links below. Happy airbrushing.